Okay, so Daytona weekend. I know that at this time of the year in America, they do things like chicken wings for all the NFL playoffs and the conference finals and the Super Bowl, whatever it's called. And they do, uh, what's it called? It's called uh, end of a back of a truck. Truck cook. <laughs> truck cook. I think I just invented that, but you know what I mean. But I'm not doing that watching the tone of 24 hours. But I need something that will wake me up at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be really hot. Hence why we got that out. So what I'm going to do, I've got lots of chicken wings. I'm going to do a th about a third of them, maybe half, marinated in Tabasco sauce and salt. And then half done all natural. Or perhaps with a Szechuan pepper coating. And I might even deep fry some for extra crispiness with Szechuan pepper. Yeah, that'd be quite good. So I'll do half with the hot wings, a quarter just natural, and a quarter deep fried with the Szechuan pepper. Blimey. Well, that, if that doesn't wake me up, I don't know what will. So I've just got my salt, I've got my chicken wings, I've got my Tabasco, I'm going to have to weigh out. So apologies for the, uh, the mess. I'm, I've been doing bread at the same time, as you can see over there. So I've got my two litre pot. I'm going to do 100 grams of sugar, uh, sorry, salt, sugar. 100, you can still be cooking bread. 100 grams of salt for two litres of uh, water for the brine. I'm going to boil the water first to dissolve the salt for one litre and then do another litre just to cool it down. Add the Tabasco and put it into the that dish with all the chicken wings. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Leave it for 24 hours and we'll, we'll be back for the 24 hours. All right, I've decided I don't need to boil the water. It's hot enough it is to dissolve that uh, salt. So what I'll do is, I'm just warming up the Tabasco because it, it doesn't, isn't, doesn't like getting out of that small exit hole, so they say. So I'm just warming it up to try and get it a bit more liquefied. I'll just put it in the microwave, that'll, that'll blast it out. Where you go, there it is. You see it's getting to the top. Right, so that's 100 grams of salt and one litre of water for the moment. Just to dissolve it all. Now the dog wants to go out. Never work with children or animals when you're cooking for the masses of people on my channel. Ooh, right. Good, right now, the Tabasco. Oh, how much do you want to put in? I don't know. It, now it's warmed up, it's coming out really nice. Uh, I think we need half a pot. Oh yeah. I might have a spoonful in it once I whisk it up. See what it tastes like. I, actually, I'll do the two litre version. Oh my god, I've gone too far. As my wife said on the honeymoon night, you've gone too far. You've turned it over from Sky Sports to Channel 4 Films. Ooh, that's looking good. Actually, that might be enough already. Putting too much salt now for one litre. It's supposed to be 100 grams for two litres, I think. Oh, I think that'll be good. Not that I'm making it up as I go along. Right, let's have a little quick taster. Blimey. <clears throat> it's salty and it's hot. <laughs> Which is what I was aiming for, obviously. Right, let's uh, pop that in there. Ooh. Wow, that's brilliant. It's almost as if I uh, did it beforehand and just measured it all out, which I didn't actually because I'm just far too late. Right, put the Tabasco away. Good, all right. Holy moly. So that's 24 hours. Right. 
we'll just let we'll move that over to the back so it doesn't uh, upset anyone you tip this over it'll, it'll eat its way through the floor like in the alien film all the way down to china hmm. and there we go and what i'll do is i'll turn it every uh, two hours of course or six or twelve we'll go from there Oh, this is going to be a hot boy. Because once I've got it out and I've cooked it, I'm going to coat it with my own special chilli sauce that I made. Uh, plus some, well, I was going to use honey or even wasp, wasp honey, but we haven't got any. So I'm going to use a, a mix of my own special chilli sauce and Lyle's golden syrup. Probably a first in the cooking world. Look at that. Can you imagine that mixed with hot sauce? Oh, it's on top. That will get sticky, sticky and hot. Right, good. I think we're done for the moment. See you in a few hours. Okay, after 24 hours of steeping in the, the brine with the chilies and Tabasco, they should be quite hot. So I'll drain these off. I'm going to do a couple just as they are, but most of them I'm going to have a mixture of my own made chilli hot sauce in this fantastic them like a ketchup bowl uh, mixed with some golden syrup to make it sticky and I'm going to brush it on with my brush of pleasure good right so let's um, drain that off and I'll be back in a minute and there they are good they look very appetizing I must say oh, I think I need a beer very good right let's make this sauce this glaze, I should say. It won't come out. It got stuck in the top. Right. Oh, there we go. Oh. Ooh. God, that. Blimey. <laughs> That's a bit funky. It is time. It is time to get funky. Please, but you can't have any. Not for dogs. I'll have, your, have your muzzle off. Right, so let's mix it with the old uh, syrup. Give a on, please. What? Put a light on, yeah. Right, let's see what if that'll do. Put a light on. Go put a light on. This be calm anymore. You don't like this. Right, let's give that a mixy mixy. Mm. Oh, a bit more, I think. That will do me. Enough bit, there's enough for about 30 chickens. <laughs> I probably put too much of that in. Yeah, that's clumsy. Right, let's have a little taster. Oh yes, that's quite <clears throat> quite warm. Obviously, when you cook it, though, it's um, <sighs> when, you, when you cook with it, it does take some of the heat out. Yeah, it's excellent. Right, I've done most some of them with the uh, the glaze on, and two just out of the briny. See what the difference is. I'm going to stick them just under the grill, not in the oven. I'll grill them for five minutes, and then put another glaze on. Then another five minutes, and turn them over. Two more glazes, twenty minutes, four glazes. Get in there. Woo! Right, while they're all cooking, I'm going to do my Chezwan pepper coating for the uh, for the other hot wings when we're doing the uh, the wok frying it now what you want to do with this is you need to uh, obviously pound them up now you haven't got a pestle and mortar what you can do you can just normal bowl you use the end of a rolling pin but be gentle you don't want to crack anything it's not like a proper pestle and mortar so just start basically doing that 
and then start grinding. Just do it gently and over time. I'll show you in a minute. So what I do is put that in and some salt, of course. That will do me. All right, I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all crunched up. Yeah, they're looking good. Ooh, just put them into shot. Oh yeah, crispy. And sticky. Those are sticky, those are crispy. As you'd expect. Oh, matron. How hot will they be? I might need another beer from outside. It's cold outside at the moment, so that's good. Right, let's serve this bad boy. Oh, yeah. <coughs> are they very hot then? <coughs> okay. No then. They're fairly hot. <laughs> um, those, I, those were just brined in it. They've got the glaze on. Should try a brine? What are they, one of these then? Yeah, got our own mat on. No, that's fine. Just yeah. have a little nibble first. No, just actually just smell it first. It smells okay. Alright, have a nibble. It'll probably be alright. You don't like hot stuff. Hot or not? That's good. It's a good uh, uh, independent test. Okay. No, it's, it's not hot at all. Even after all the brine. Yeah. Do you want the other one as well? Way. Well, take the two though. Have a plate. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, I'm, I'm videoing this, don't worry. Okay, I just can't get to the plates. <laughs> it's very impromptu. Yeah. Yeah, you have those two. Right. So I want to know if it did brine, whether it would no, be hot. No. It did not, obviously. Yeah, I can do a vague tingle. A vague tingle. Ooh, a vague tingle. Right, anyway, so these have got the glaze on now. They're definitely hot because when I took one off, I licked my finger. Never lick your finger. <laughs> 